Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Catherine and in today's video I'm gonna spill all my secrets all the tea on how I was able to get to 1,000 subscribers. What? I am so freaking excited. Right now I think I have like a thousand 234 the last time I checked so thank you so much for subscribing. I do plan on doing it giveaway soon so hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it whenever that comes. <laughs> it's coming soon, I promise, I promise, but n not right now. <laughs> now what this video is about, today's video is all about my tips and tricks to getting to 1,000 subscribers and getting monetized because I just got monetized literally today, which that was a little bit of a journey but we're gonna talk about the journey part in another video. Right now, we're just focusing on the positives. We're just focusing on the positives. So, let me go ahead and start this video, right? Yeah. So, long story short, I started my YouTube channel a long time ago, like 2017, and then I started getting serious about it uh, a year ago this month, so October 2019 is when I really was like, okay, you know what? We're gonna do this thing. I want to be a YouTuber. I want to do this. So, I started posting, I had like, 40 to 50 subscribers by the time New Year's hit, so about 50 subscribers when we welcomed in 2020. <laughs> now, how did I go from 50 subscribers all the way to over 1,200 subscribers right now in 10 months? Um, let me tell you. First of all, first of all, I joined Nancy Taylor's course, Beyond Teaching Online. That course is phenomenal. If you haven't already watched my honest review of her course, I will link it up to there and in the description for you to watch at your leisure. But that course seriously changed the game for me. That course took me from having 50 subscribers to being monetized today, October 25th. No, October 26, 2020. Yeah, it's the 26th. A month before my birthday. Exciting things today, just a lot of exciting things. In short, Nancy's course took me from knowing nothing about YouTube. I thought you, I didn't understand YouTube, apparently, until I took her course, and I was like, oh, okay, I see you, I see you. She takes you through everything, how the algorithm works, keyword search, thumbnails, titles, everything, literally everything. And along with that, you get a lovely community to support you along the way. So if you want to start a YouTube channel, um, girl, you better get on this course, okay? Or boy, just do it. Seriously, if you are on the fence or I've been wanting to do YouTube for a long time, which I think everyone should do YouTube, but if you're an online teacher especially, she teaches you how to refer and make passive income through affiliate marketing before you're monetized, okay? So if you watch my the video that I was just talking about, I go over how much I made uh, this whole year before even getting monetized, how much I made in referrals, how many referrals I have. Um, it's a super amazing course and lucky for you, it is launching on October 29th, 2020. So if you're watching this around this time, um, anytime from now until November 7th, 2020, you can buy the course and I cannot recommend her course enough. She's doing a webinar on October 29th and there's another webinar on the 30th. It is called, it's a really long title, so let me read it for you. The three phase framework for a profitable YouTube channel and the mistakes to avoid. You better secure your spot at this webinar, okay? I'm going to the webinar. And I already have the course, <laughs> but I know there's going to be some golden nuggets in there that I'm going to, that I just want to know about. I will be in that webinar. I hope to see you there. The link to sign up for the webinar is in my description of the video. And you can sign up, secure your spot, be sure you're there, okay? Now, by using that link or purchasing the course using my link below, which the course, the link to purchase the course will be available from October 29th to November 7th. Um, those are affiliate links, and by using my affiliate link, I will be your number one coach, okay? I will spill all my tips, all my secrets of how I've amounted to so many referrals, how I've been able to monetize within way less than a year of seriously doing YouTube, and yeah, we can chat, I'll answer questions. There will be weekly Facebook Lives, I'll have a checklist every week of just things to focus on so that you you know what to do, you know what to focus on, you can let the other BS slide away, and you can just focus on your goals, focus on your dreams. So at this time next year, you can make a video like this saying, hey, I have over a thousand subscribers, and I made money before I was monetized, but now I'm monetized, so now 
we are just killing it so if you want to have a video like this next year definitely sign up to her webinar okay okay and if you'd like me to personally coach you use my link to sign up for the webinar and to purchase the course um my coaching my facebook group is only for my affiliates so if you went there <laughs> so if you want in on that be sure to use my affiliate link it helps me in return i help you a ton okay okay so thank you moving on so my biggest tip is to post post like a mad woman i have over 160 videos right now that's insane now what i started out doing back in january i started with three videos a week so i had a schedule of monday wednesday friday and then around i would say may or june i saw the tiktok <laughs> that said this man this guy just he posted every day on YouTube, sometimes twice a day, and he was able to gain 30,000 subscribers in one month. And I said, hold up, in one month? You did that in one month? Bet. <laughs> I've never said bet before, that felt weird. But I was like, you know what, I'm gonna challenge myself. So I posted like crazy, okay? Like crazy. I posted, I tried to post at least four to six times a week. Um, you know what's funny <laughs> is at the beginning when I was just posting three times a week, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so difficult. I don't know what to post about. Oh, and then once I dedicated myself to the mentality of, you know what, Catherine, no BS, just post videos, just post them. And I did, and look where we are today. <laughs> but yeah, once I decided and I was like, you know, whatever, I don't care, I'm gonna do it, it really became very easy to me. Now it's like, it's just so easy for me to just you know, turn on the camera, make some YouTube videos. I already have a thousand ideas in my head and it's very ingrained in me now to post at least three to six times a week. <laughs> I'm dialing it back a little bit after I've been monetized. I'll probably just post three to four times a week, but still, if you want to supercharge it, post four to six times a week. That's just my suggestion, okay, okay. Thumbnails, make them bright, make them colorful, make them engaging. So, I really like Photoshop. I use kind of, I mainly use Photoshop for my thumbnails. Sometimes I use Canva, but I really like Photoshop. I don't know, I've gotten used to Photoshop. I know how to make the glow effect. I know how to, you know, cut things out. I'm just, I like Photoshop. So, I use Photoshop. I try to make it exciting. <laughs> as I can. You don't want to make them clickbaity, or like you want to make them clickbaity, like as in you want to make them interesting, but you don't want it to be actual clickbait, you know? Like whatever I have on my thumbnail is definitely mentioned or definitely in my videos. It definitely relates in some way. Same with the titles. You know, it, <laughs> this video isn't titled, um, how to make seven billion dollars in three seconds, because that's a load of crap. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what I'm gonna title this video actually. Something, I think a thousand subscribers. That or how to start a YouTube channel, I forgot. But anyway, but yes, make your thumbnails super bright and super engaging. And also in Nancy's course, she teaches you how to do that. So yeah. My next tip is probably as important, if not more important, than my first tip about posting consistently and often. And that is to find videos that people are wanting that are not coming up in search. For example, my out school sample class video that was a video that people were searching for and when you searched it nothing was coming up or nothing was coming up with those exact words so I filled the void and I made that video and that video is one of my best performing videos it's that or my powerfish interview video which thank you to everyone who's watched either or both of them uh, just thank you thank you thank you but yeah the, I've gained the most subscribers the most watch time just a lot of positivity from those videos just because I took a second and figured out what people were looking for that they were not getting results in and Nancy teaches you how to do all of that in her course now my next tip everyone says this everyone 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 says this this is the first thing people say when you search anything about starting a YouTube channel and that is to niche down you have to niche down so that you can blossom for example my channel is about online teaching. It's about online teaching, how to make money online so that you can travel. All my videos are about traveling or teaching. Most of them are about teaching and how to make money doing that. Niche down, provide value so that people know what you're about. Like if I had a bunch of different stuff, like if I also had makeup, which I do have makeup occasionally, but if I also had, uh, tips on buying a house and the mechanics of computers and all this other random stuff you'd be like um I'm not gonna subscribe what value are you giving me 
Like, I don't care about mechanics of computers. I want to know how to travel and teach online, right? So if I had all that other nonsense, I would have much less subscribers, I would think. But because what I talk about is so niche, what it, it's so specific, people are like, oh, well, I'm going to subscribe to her because knows what she's talking about. She has a lot of videos on these subjects, so subscribe. Which, by the way, subscribe. Thank you so much. My other tip is to put a hook in the beginning of the video. You want one of the most exciting parts to be at the beginning of the video to grab your audience in, right? So that they are like, what? What's happening? How many referrals did she make? How much money did she make? That's the hook in my last video, which I already talked about that. The Beyond Teaching Online Honest Review. Which at first I was like, what I talk about is just teaching. What's going to be exciting? I've gotten creative. You make it exciting. And my biggest, biggest tip, I know I've already said that twice, but this tip is more towards your mentality, not so much strategy of YouTube. The other two are more, you know, how to strategize YouTube or how to, you know, go about posting and stuff like that on YouTube. But this tip really helped me a lot mentally in the head, all right? And that is when you post a video, don't expect it to go viral right off the bat, okay? Because I, I think that's what slows a lot of people down or what keeps them from continuing YouTube or posting YouTube, which sucks because, like, you don't know where it could lead, you know? You never know. But I think a lot of people give up because they don't give their videos time. They don't, you know, give the viewers time to find the video. For example, when I was first starting on YouTube, like, as soon as I posted a, a YouTube video, I wanted everyone in the whole world to stop what they were doing and watch my video. I spent a lot of time on it. I took a lot of time to edit it, post it, make the thumbnail, like stop what you're doing and watch my video. I wanted the views to go from zero to like three million in like five minutes. <laughs> and when they didn't, I was frustrated. Guess how frustrated I was when I had, when I did not have three million views on my videos. Very. So when you're posting, when you're doing all this, you have to remember that people are gonna find videos at their time. Everything happens in perfect God's timing. So just post it and give it a minute, give it a month or two. For example, my Palfish interview video. It has like 8.5 thousand views or 9,000 views, I think. Now, did everyone, did 9,000 people stop what they were doing and watch it that first week? No. People to this day are finding that video and messaging me saying, oh my gosh, thank you so much for posting this, which is so sweet. Every time someone leaves me like the nicest comment about my eyeshadow or my personality or anything like that, like the warm and fuzzies are very real. So thank you if you've ever done that. Um, I love you. <laughs> There's a special place in my heart for you. But, you know, I get comments today saying, oh my gosh, I had no idea about Palfish. Oh my gosh, I had no idea about VIP Kid or Out School or you know, just teaching online in general. But I knew about VIP Kid three years ago. I actually just got my sixth year, or my sixth contract jacket. It's so cute, very vibrant orange. I love it, I, was, I got it today, I was so excited. I was like, oh, I got the jacket, I have the jacket. <laughs> Cause I see people wearing it, I'm like, oh my God, the VIP Kid down the sleeve, like, so cute. Anyway, I'm very proud of this jacket. I'm a little annoyed I had to pay $35 for it, but. I'm proud of myself that I've done six contracts and I got a cool jacket. So that'll keep me warm in the winter. But, you know, I knew about VIP Kid three years ago. A lot of people are just finding out about VIP Kid and that's okay. But that's the beauty of YouTube. Once you post a video, it serves you forever and ever and ever until you delete that video, right? So when you're first posting, don't get upset that you only have five views. Don't get upset that no one's liked it. Just give it time and I promise you they will come. They will be there for you. And that's what's beautiful about Nancy's course, especially when you're first getting started, like when I was first getting started, there's a whole community there that goes and likes your video, like comments, and you all support each other, and it is just beautiful. So yeah, the community itself is just wonderful. And that's why, well, part of the reason why I love Beyond Teaching Online. It is an amazing course. Don't forget to check out the webinar. It's on October 29th and 30th. I have the link in the description. You can purchase the course from October 29th to November 7th. November 7th is the deadline, okay? I don't know when she's coming out with this course again, but if you if you wake up on November 8th thinking, I want to join that course, that sounds like my cup of tea. Well, you're going to be sad because you can't. Definitely hop on it now. It is so worth it. I freaking love the course. If you really want an in-depth tutorial, again, watch that video I keep talking about. Um, and if you'd like my personalized help, remember, use my affiliate link 
to sign up for the webinar and purchase the course. It helps me. And in return, I want to help you, okay? Okay, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give what? Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!